If you're in the pool, she loves the pool. Within minutes of David Edwards bringing Maggie home, she was standing on the first step of the pool. Then one day, he and his wife Addie threw a pool party. And all of a sudden, here comes Maggie, boom, right in the pool. And then we got to think that she may be part beaver because she is a swimmer. So what she does is she just comes bolting out of the house and she jumps in the pool and she attempts to herd you. So she swims out there and rescues you and you hold on to her anywhere and she'll herd you and she'll take you to safety. But she's absolutely wonderful. Let's go to the dog park. Come on, let's go for a walk, come on. David has had dogs most of his life and he and Addie wanted to save a life. We've always had good dogs and they've been rescue dogs and we're kind of believers in saving an animal. They called Halo Animal Rescue in Phoenix. You know, the short version is this is the very first dog we looked at. That was it, no questions. And that's how we got Maggie. What do you think about all this? You think there might be some critters? When you adopt a pet, you save the pet's life and you greatly improve the quality of your life. It was as smooth as you could possibly get and it was a wonderful experience. They truly did care for her and they cared where they placed her. In 1994, Heather Allen and her mother started HALO. <laughs> HALO stands for Helping Animals Live On. And I think many of them see the ones before them that um, didn't make it out. And so I really believe, and I've seen it so many times personally, when you, you know, you open a kennel and you take one out of there and you're leaving and they just look at you in the car like, oh, whoo, thank you so much. You know, they're, they're relieved, you can see it, and they're appreciative for the help that you've provided for them. Animals without a home and victims of human circumstances. Personalities not in a tailspin, but looking to build new bonds. Some people think that shelter animals are damaged goods because they think that they're here for their own problem, or maybe they know somebody that surrendered an animal that had problems, but by and large, these are not damaged goods. These are wonderful, wonderful pets that just need a place to call home. Uh, this is absolutely more than just a job for me. This is a, this is a passion, this is my life's work. I, I feel so honored to be able to, to do this every day and, and to take care of these animals that really need us. And it's not simply an environment of mixed breeds. Purebreds make up about 25% of a shelter's animals. We see a ton of Labradors, um, Spaniels, German Shepherds, Chihuahuas. Yes, ma'am. Heather rescued two Bernese Mountain Dogs, who now share her corner office. My office is in the front of the building, and so I get to see everybody as they leave, and I see their little tails wagging, and the kids are all excited. Who gets to walk the dog to the car? And you know, nothing, nothing beats that, really nothing beats that. When people in the United States decide to adopt a pet, they only pick a shelter like this 18% of the time. If we could only raise that number up a little bit, that would save four million animals who otherwise would be euthanized. Do you know, shake. A place serving as matchmaker between people and pets reaching out for better terrain. If you come in with an open mind to find a pet that is a good match for you, you'll be so surprised at what you go home with. It might not fit the image of what you had in your head, but it's really gonna be the best match for your lifestyle. And I think that's just so important. There's nothing wrong with a shelter dog and rescuing a dog. I think more people should do it. But there's a lot of puppy in there, whatever. Maggie now is David's shadow. You know, she's my constant companion. We go for a walk in the morning uh, when I come out to do yard work. Uh, she's a great supervisor. She stands on the first step of the pool and, you know, we'll give instruction about what to do and so on. When we work in the office, she's right there by the door and uh, she's a great companion. There's always things to smell. Wherever he goes, Maggie's with him and she follows him everywhere. It's just a true love. And to see the two of them interact, it's just marvelous. So she is lucky and he is even luckier. <laughs>